today's quick video is the LM334. It's actually a really simple component. It does a really cool thing though, where it provides a certain amount of current based on one resistor. And so we're looking at the flat side, that's pin 1, 2, 3, which is V plus, R, and V minus. So V plus, we put towards the more positive side of the uh, circuit, and you can put components in series, either on the more positive or the more negative side, does not matter. The uh, main thing is that we're gonna grab a resistor right here. And just one resistor, or one resistance I should say, to get an exact value, you may need a couple resistors in series or whatnot. But in uh, any case, we're gonna put that to the middle pin, the R pin, and then the uh, other lead of the resistor to the V minus pin. And so this is a 7.5 ohm resistor, a very low value resistor. I have a bunch of resistors that begin with 6.8. I'd prefer uh, 6.8 ohm, but uh, I can't find that. And uh, I think I do have one, but I can't find it. So I got 7.5, uh, slightly more resistance, will have slightly less current. But uh, the uh, main takeaway is that uh, there's uh, no current flowing now because it's open and this jumper here to the negative rail I'm going to put to the V minus pin and there you can see we got about 8 milliamps of current flowing through there this is not uh, perfect when it gives the uh, current it may be uh, 1 or 2 milliamps off but uh, still it's close enough and definitely good enough for the purposes of this video so that current that we set, so that's 64 millivolts according to the data sheet divided by the uh, resistance will give you the amount of current. This can only go up to 10 milliamps of current though. So don't use a resistor lower value than uh, 6.8 ohms. But in any case, we will add an LED here and uh, a single LED we should still be fine with 5 volts right there. And the uh, minimum voltage for this component is, I believe, 1 volt. And then the maximum 40 volts, but there's power limitations. I think it's 400 uh, milliwatts. So you need other components absorbing some of the energy. But there you can see the uh, green LED does block about 3 volts. That's all we're dealing with. We lost a bunch of current there. And uh, now we're about 1 volt above what the LED needs. Still, we're not at 8 milliamps, but there we are. So, now we can keep raising the voltage, but again, as I said, we have to be aware of power limitations. And I think we just uh, got it a little too warm. That's why the uh, current jumped up a little bit. So, it does respond to heat too. And uh, for the details on that though, you got to check the data sheet. I haven't been terribly excited to learn that. So, now I'm going to add a, another LED in series, and of course, with only 5 volts, we don't have enough volts so you got to have enough voltage for the uh, load that you got and uh, once we get to 8 volts there you can see each one of them is blocking about 3 volts approximately so probably slightly less but close enough but there you can see we can go up in voltage and uh, looks like it just kind of shifted a little because of the voltage change but there you can see we can change the voltage and uh, it holds pretty much spot on the uh, current. Also, that may be close to, it may be a high eight milliamps. So that may be another reason why it goes to nine so easy. So now we got another one in series. So this won't be enough voltage, as you can see there. So we'll raise it a little bit. And then 11 volts easily gets us that uh, eight milliamps. And of course we can go up some more so it's the uh, resistor itself it's not the uh, power supply voltage that makes a difference and so since that's going to nine so easy I'm actually going to grab the uh, multimeter I can actually leave that on and see what exactly we are getting I bet uh, I bet this uh, power supply I know this power supply is not uh, real accurate so it's probably seeing close to nine milliamps anyways, but to get the actual current, a multimeter is to be used. And so we will see what we're actually getting with uh, these three components. So yep, 
we got nine milliamps there and uh, nine milliamps with uh, two of them there so looks like it was actually nine milliamps but the power supply was uh, kind of on the edge right there so we got it there so and it looks like it's changing as the component warms up that current's going up a little bit as it warms up but there you can see nine milliamps and so now we can keep adding more load that uh, I think we proved our point but uh, as long as you have enough voltage probably don't have enough now and uh, yeah we're a little shy so I'll go up to uh, we have a lot of LEDs on here let's just go right up to 20 volts right there and uh, so it's kind of high voltage but we got a lot of LEDs blocking there we are back to the 9 milliamps right there and green LEDs are just naturally brighter than red LEDs that's why they look brighter all these components have the same current going through them so in any case that's it you just need one resistor to set the current the uh, way that you know what the current will be though is uh, 64 millivolts according to the data sheet I find 68 millivolts works better but uh, you take that voltage so that 0.064 volts divided by the resistance and you'll get a number that tells you the amount of current it's going to let flow through there 10 milliamps is the most though so you'd want to go with higher value resistors that will limit the current more so in any case hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching i'll throw up some more videos please click those and make sure to subscribe and uh, click the bell so you get notified of new videos see you in the next one